when you're working with people that have been in a disaster, you're not really doing counseling or therapy as you would traditionally think about it. What you're really doing is education. You're explaining to people that the symptoms they're experiencing, like the exaggerated startle response, nightmares, flashbacks, loss of appetite, not being able to sleep, all of that stuff is a very normal response to an abnormal event. So you're educating them about that. You're finding out about what their thoughts and feelings are. But then you're helping them transition somehow into normal life. Because getting part of your routine back is an important part of getting your momentum. For example, after the tsunami, in this refugee camp, one of the things that we helped people do was create a school for the kids. And it happened just to be under a tent. But it gave the kids some structure to begin getting part of their normal everyday life back. And once they started getting a little bit of that back, they're able to get more and more and more. So education versus therapy is something that you need to be thinking about. Critical incident stress management is a pretty universally recognized protocol in a disaster setting. Another thing you need to be thinking about in a disaster, if you're working with victims, is something I call the one-shot dynamic. You may get one shot with an individual or a group who has shown up at your clinic, in your little field hospital, and they may have come from 20 miles away, and after you see them, they'll go back. So you've got one shot to work with these folks. What are you going to say in 15 minutes that's going to help them the most? Asking them how they feel might not be the best thing. Because they may be thinking, how the hell do you think I feel? I just lost everything I have, and I can't find any of my family. How would you feel? So be thinking about ways that you could acknowledge their trauma, communicate to them about symptoms they might be experiencing, and then helping them to transition into some semblance of normal life again.